we've really moved into what we call this continuous response. There really They've is no downtime. Uh, we seem to just be moving from one disaster on to the next. Hooksit resident Aaron McIntyre was deployed to Florida two and a half weeks ago ahead of Hurricane Helene's landfall. And then came Milton. This is just unprecedented to have back-to-back uh, -back hurricanes, you know, two distinct Cat 3 landfalls in a matter of 12 days. He says right now the Red Cross has about 700 volunteers on the ground in the Sunshine State. Uh, we saw a population of about 85,000 people in our evacuation shelters. And McIntyre says many of them have been impacted by both storms. They're not sure what they're going to go back to. Uh, they have no way to know what their neighborhood looks like, how their neighbors are, uh, what they're going to have when they get back in their own homes. And so really what these what these folks have with them may be what they're left with once the storm passes. Right now, the Red Cross needs donations to continue running the 300 shelters open across Florida. The contributions and donations coming into Red Cross allows us to do the mission. And McIntyre is calling on his fellow Granite Staters to step up in this urgent time of need. Our number one mission down here is really to make sure that people have a safe place to go, uh, to be able to evacuate from the storm, and then have a safe place to stay after the storm. And if you'd like to help McIntyre and the rest of the Red Cross team carry out that mission in Florida, you can scan that QR code on your screen right now. All donations will go directly to hurricane recovery efforts. For more information, you can also just visit WMUR.com slash Red Cross. Catherine Underwood, WMUR News 9.